It is Class Creatives and in this video we'll discuss how Unreal Engine is used to create some truly insane workflows for movies, television shows, animated shorts, tech demos, concerts, interactive 3D billboards, and of course some of the hottest video game titles such as Fortnite. We've been getting a ton of requests from our students and subscribers who are curious about the software and techniques that are used in conjunction with Unreal Engine to revolutionize the 3D asset production workflow pipeline throughout the industry. We'll take a look at how these critically acclaimed Oscar, Emmy, and Game of the Year winning projects utilize state-of-the-art 3D techniques in their own unique ways to enhance the artistic vision from the creators. In this video, we'll discuss how these award-winning projects are made by the best visual effects and game studios in the world. Paired with state-of-the-art tools such as integrating live actors with 3D assets and practical sets using virtual production, how Unreal Engine is changing the way visual effects pre-production is done in the modern day, and how all of the new software features are utilized to assemble the most groundbreaking visuals ever seen using a game engine. Unreal Engine has been used to create some of the biggest visual effects TV shows, revolutionizing the entire creation process while catering to the faster turnaround times necessary to create television content. Whether it's through cutting edge virtual production, procedural world building, real time animation, or groundbreaking visual effects, Unreal Engine continues to push the boundaries of what's possible in graphics. From blockbuster films to high-end TV series, its unparalleled capabilities make it the go-to solution for achieving breathtaking visuals that captivate audiences worldwide. For The Last of Us TV series, Unreal Engine was used for a tight three-week location shoot schedule. Unreal was used in previous animatics to plan the action scene's timing and pacing. The animatic was then used to block in the scene in Maya using stage motion capture. The scenes utilize virtual cameras in their capture lab to keep the cinematic consistency with the live action shots. Motion capture animation was cleaned up, set dressing was added, and additional virtual camera work was implemented. This allowed the team to get an extremely close resemblance to the previous planning. Technical artists set up the scenes with two different lighting setups for the pre and post versions of the shots. Crowd work was also integrated to complete the shot storytelling elements. Blur Studio was tasked by Epic Games to bring the world of Unreal Tournament to life in one episode for Amazon's secret level animated series under the condition that everything had to be done entirely in Unreal Engine 5. This would mark the first time the studio used Unreal for production. The brand new pipeline would include over 550 shots. MetaHuman mixed with ZBrush was the base for the sculpting and facial rigging system which was then driven and paired with Autodesk Maya. Assets were assembled in blueprints using Nanite for transformable objects to maintain high frame rates. Additional custom functions were created for variations in materials and lighting. Animations were created using Unreal Engine's control rig with a custom character picker to make the transition from Maya easier for the animators. Unreal Engine was used to build virtual sets for the Fallout television series. The filmmakers could then virtually scout the sets and block out scenes in VR, which helped them plan and visualize the shoot. The virtual sets were also used to create a one-to-one -one scale of the 3D model of the entire set, even the pieces that were only ever meant to be physical installations. This allowed the filmmakers to block out scenes without being limited to just the virtual assets. The virtual sets were also used to create a heat map of the environment, which helped the team identify which areas of the sets were most critical to the story and ensure that they focused their creative attention there. Lumen and Unreal allowed the production team to make the virtual lighting just as useful as the physical lighting was on set. Lumen was the most critical piece of Unreal that made Fallout come together. The team experienced a significant drop in on-set downtime after moving away from baked lighting and could iterate on lighting changes in real time with the DP, which compounded the effectiveness of their creative review turnaround times. In HBO's Westworld, a 3D map of the Westworld facility was created using twin 4K projectors. It was a practical effect that looked incredibly realistic. In later seasons, they wanted to expand the dimensions of the facility even further, so they built their own supercomputer and developed new technology that allowed them to render backgrounds in real time as the camera moved. They took direct inspiration from Jon Favreau's work on The Mandalorian, and they were able to adapt those techniques to create even more realistic artificial environments. If you want to see more about the Mandalorian's usage of Unreal Engine, be sure to check out our dedicated behind the scenes video on the entire production. Using a combination of on-location shooting and LED screens, they were able to create a seamless blend of real and artificial worlds. Mixed with the scene shot on film, it gave the show a more cinematic experience to the viewer. The Battle of the Bastards scene in the Game of Thrones TV series was a massive undertaking. 
similar to something you might expect from a Hollywood production. So to meet the challenges, new tools were developed in Unreal Engine to allow the filmmakers to explore scenes and environments virtually. Sets were recreated entirely in Unreal. The massive battles were populated within huge worlds at the click of a button. The workflow became critical for not only pre-production, but a foundational collaborative process that made a huge impact on the show's creation process. The LEGO Fortnite edition was fully rigged and animated in Unreal Engine, with no external DCC tools. This allowed the artists to create everything in context, iterate in real time, and make changes on the fly for the final assets. The procedural content generation PCG framework gives artists the ability to build massive worlds efficiently with an art directable approach. PCG was used extensively in LEGO Fortnite. The team built their own world creation system with it, generating countless unique tiles that assemble into a different world for every player. Unreal's control rig is a solution for animators who want to animate and rig their characters directly inside Unreal Engine instead of using external software such as Autodesk Maya or even Blender. The no-base control rig is aimed to be a highly flexible tool that enables procedural animation, rigging that can be tweaked on the fly, and dynamic control mechanisms directly inside the engine. It's designed for complex characters with unique anatomy, non-humanoid rigs, and custom control setups for fine-tuned animation needs. Quick pause to tell you a little bit about Class Creatives. We'll help you take your 3D and 2D art to the next level. Learn from industry professionals with experience teaching at accredited universities. Land that new job, receive higher pay, and stand out from the competition. The great thing about Class Creatives is the ability to learn at your own pace and your own schedule. Get started today for free with a link in the description. Weta collaborated directly with Epic Games to develop a new real-time strand-based hair system for the engine. The short helped showcase the power of Unreal's real-time fur rendering capabilities. Achieving realistic fur and feather effects in real-time was a significant challenge, but with sophisticated shading models and optimized techniques, the team delivered breathtaking visuals that blurred the line between CGI and reality. Epic Games, Real Effects, and Netflix collaborated on a series called Supergiant Robot Brothers to create a flexible animation pipeline with motion capture. All shots were planned like a live action shoot with mocap as a starting point. Lighting and animation was done simultaneously to speed up production turnaround times. Virtual cameras mixed with custom code and tool development allowed the ability for the studio to customize the engine to specific workflows necessary to bring the project to completion. Oscar winning shorts such as The War Is Over used performance capture with editors on set to bypass the traditional storyboarding process. Asset creation, modeling, and animation mixed with Autodesk Maya and proprietary tools were all brought together in Unreal for the final lighting, rendering, and effects. To achieve the painterly style depicted in the concept art, tools were built in Unreal for the line work combining pre-modeled ribbons, Houdini for dynamic lines based on characters' forms, and fringe-like outlines to pop the figures. Everything was controlled through Unreal, which gave the artist tons of control in the visuals. Several Netflix series also use Unreal, taking advantage of its real-time collaboration tools, allowing teams to iterate quickly and maintain high-quality visual output under tight deadlines. This balance of speed and quality is one of the reasons Unreal continues to dominate the industry. The ability to work across multiple teams and make real-time changes ensured that every aspect of production met the highest standards. For Netflix Love, Death, and Robots, a team of 45 artists with no real-time experience successfully transformed their traditional pipeline to real-time rendering in Unreal Engine. Assets built in pre-production for layout were the same assets used in the final piece, improving progressively throughout the process. A complete 15-minute framework was built within two weeks, allowing for simultaneous refinement of the entire piece leading up to the shoot. Unreal Engine shifted the role of asset artists to world builders, empowering them to organically develop ideas and explore different fidelities rapidly using available libraries. This shifted from focusing on character turntables to live in-shot visualization, enhancing storytelling and creative shaping. Performance capture was integrated with real-time assets, enabling actors to see themselves as avatars within the virtual environment, which was vital for informing their performances particularly in understanding spatial relationships within virtual sets. Unlike traditional workflows, where motion capture data processing delays layout, Unreal Engine provided near instant feedback. This allowed for editing with footage resembling the final project early in the process, directly influencing motion capture selections and cut patterns. The team utilized metahumans for three of the six photorealistic human characters, 
which were crucial for managing the ambitious project scope, involving multiple complex characters with dialogue and varying degrees of digital modification. MetaHumans changed the game for their production and facial rigging, which is typically resource intensive and custom built for productions. MetaHuman rigs proved as powerful as their in-house rigs, freeing artists to focus on storytelling. In just four months, they produced photorealistic human characters, animated fight sequences, dialogue, mutilation effects, four diverse environments, and a Cthulhu monster. This project significantly changed Sony Pictures Imageworks production workflow for the future. Unreal Engine has changed how visual effects studios are able to produce rapid iterations and near instant feedback, allowing for more creative exploration. Instead of showing clients grayscale renders, near final images are ready almost immediately. In 2020, Unreal Engine introduced Nanite technology and its Lumen in the Land of Nanite demo for PS5. This virtualized geometry system allows artists to create scenes with millions, even billions of polygons without sacrificing performance. Traditional game engines require simplified models, but with Nanite, every intricate detail is preserved, bringing us closer to photorealism than ever before. Quixel high-resolution Megascan assets can be used without having to worry about generating normal maps on low-resolution proxies. This allows artists to load in full movie-quality assets straight into the game engine. And then there's Lumen, Unreal's fully dynamic global illumination system. Unlike pre-baked lighting solutions, Lumen reacts in real-time to every environmental change. Whether it's sunlight pouring through a window or flickering neon lights, Lumen ensures that light behaves exactly as it would in the real world. This is what gives Unreal its unparalleled level of immersion. Unreal's real-time visual effects system, Niagara, allows for fully programmable particle effects, giving artists an option that is no longer constrained by a fixed function simulation. Artists can create stunning visuals like fire, smoke, and explosions with complete control, making every frame feel alive. Megalite's a groundbreaking feature in Unreal Engine 5.5 allows for an unprecedented number of high-quality lights and shadows, opening up creative possibilities that were previously limited by hardware performance. Megalites removes limitations on direct lighting and shadows. Textured area lights can be used in real time, spilling vibrant colors and casting soft shadows just like in offline rendering. Every light in a scene can have casting shadows in real time. In addition to point lights and spotlights, area lights can also be used with crisp or soft shadows with any imaginable configuration. Virtual production is another area where the Unreal Engine is making huge strides in the industry. For example, in Jackson Wang's music video, two massive environments were created using Unreal Engine, utilizing assets from the marketplace and built within their own custom library. With inside-out tracking and full ceiling resolution, filmmakers had complete freedom to move the camera in ways that were previously impossible. Combining camera movement with dynamic environment adjustments eliminates the need for complex rigging showcasing the engine's flexibility. Several virtual systems are built for production in Unreal, including James Gunn's movie The Suicide Squad. They built a one-to-one -one virtual set of the aquarium, and James could explore the space with the King Shark stunt double in Unreal all live in real time. He could test ideas and refine his vision before shooting with the actor. James even designed an elaborate car chase with custom vehicle physics, simulations matching the virtual car to the real stunt car with weight and suspension. GPU-based light baking software allows virtual productions to deliver incredible results in minutes rather than days. GPU texture sharing allows virtual productions to render high-resolution content in camera and share it across multiple GPUs, allowing studios to achieve stunning visuals with fewer systems, even for complex setups with multiple cameras. Switchboard is used for stage management to keep LED wall devices in sync. Level Snapshot lets you save and recall entire scenes. Stage Monitor tracks performance and alerts for any hitches or issues for smooth playback. And for ultimate onset control, Remote Control is used, which is a customizable web interface that lets you adjust Unreal Engine parameters from any mobile device, allowing professionals to change the sky or trigger animations from an iPad. Unreal Engine is constantly pushing the boundaries of believable digital humans. Advancements in real-time facial capture paired with performance capture, the lines are blurring with each step becoming closer to the point where people won't be able to tell the difference between a real person and a digital human. For the Matrix Awakens demo, all aspects of the game engine's capabilities were implemented, including Nanite for virtualized geometry, procedural world building, Lumen for global illumination to create stunning high-fidelity visuals, 
chaos physics adding realistic destruction and many humans allowed for lifelike digital characters produced through digital scans and performance captures. The team was able to recreate characters with incredible accuracy, blurring the lines between reality and the digital world. The digital assets were even used in the Unreal game dev community to create a viral Superman rendition with the digital assets from the demo. Unreal Engine is used beyond the gaming and visual effects space, changing visualization in airports, theme parks, concerts from some of the biggest entertainers, and more. Unreal is used to plan elaborate live events, including sets, lights, and effects for entire venues. Virtual shows are brought into the real world, and interactive experiences blur the lines between the two. 3D immersive billboards in New York, Korea, and Tokyo are all created entirely with Unreal Engine, making advertisements more engaging, innovative, and entertaining. The attention-grabbing ad campaigns are completely changing how brands can be creative with their content and the real world within these densely populated cities. Unreal Engine has made huge strides over the years with classic games such as Gears of War 2, paving the way with innovative workflows such as their 40 cinematics, motion capturing performances in a volume with LED walls, creating a virtual environment for the actors to interact with naturally. The motion capture workflow allowed artists and directors the ability to experiment with different ideas and camera angles, creating a truly immersive experience. Well, that about wraps up this video on how the best studios in the world are using Unreal Engine paired with professional software such as Autodesk Maya and ZBrush to not only enhance visuals further, but to rapidly increase their production turnaround times, pushing the limits of animation for television and feature films. Unreal Engine is revolutionizing studio workflows with virtual production and adding new features annually to optimize performance, giving artists more control. Although the production workflow remains widely unchanged, the future of 3D within Unreal is advancing, with each update as directors and artists look to push the engine to its limits. It's also great to see how Unreal Engine is making new strides beyond just the gaming engine to produce updated workflows and techniques in all aspects of the industry. Are you using Unreal Engine for your personal projects or as a working professional at your studio? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Perfect.